and and but rather uh, lay down my life and just and do things according to God's will instead of my own will. That's that's the big challenge for me, and to uh, to give up my own uh, thoughts and opinions of how things should be, and and submit to God's thoughts and opinions of how things are. That song is like, um, please don't send me to Africa. <laughs> now my song is like, if you want me to go there, sure, I would love to. All day by day, it's uh, just praying and seeking God and, and knowing that I'm here for His purposes and not my own purposes. History is full of inspiring examples of men and women who accomplished great exploits for God by their surrendered lives. Coming up next, you'll meet a present day example, a man that will likely go down in history as one of the greats because of what God is accomplishing through his obedient surrender. Do you have a heart for missions but don't know where to start? Is there a passion in your heart for the loss that can't be quenched? If you've ever heard a missions report and your heart has been broken for the nations, and if you've ever wanted to be on the front lines, then come discover your potential at Victory Bible College International, Thailand. Apply online today at www.victoryasia.com. Boondan Wachaipa could have been anyone. He had a degree a family, a career, a business, and all the typical problems of life. Until one day, bankruptcy. Now a fugitive from his creditors, with nowhere to run, Boondan called out to God. He surrendered his life, but unlike many, when Boondan gave it up, he gave it all. Since that time, Boondan has given everything in service to Jesus. Life, family, time, talents, money, nothing is his own. This may not sound like a recipe for happiness, but Pastor Boondan is one of the happiest, most passionate men you'll ever meet. He's discovered that true surrender brings the greatest joy. Boondan released his son and daughter to that same surrender in a culture where worldly success of the children is the parent's only retirement plan. With eternity in perspective, Boondan forfeited this worldly security, now trusting in God alone for all future provision. Today, Boondan's family serves with him in ministry. His kids love working alongside mom and dad and are his best supporters and greatest joy. Boondan surrendered his career as a university teacher. Today, he teaches young men and women from all over Thailand, mentoring them to become church planters and pastors. He works alongside those he's trained and has planted 14 churches in 10 years. He's leading one of the fastest growing church planting organizations in Thailand. In October of 2006, Boondan gave up his last earthly possession, 40 acres of land that was meant to be his children's inheritance. Other than my life and the life of my family members, I have one other possession. It's some land to show my love and my faithfulness and my belief in this vision and in this ministry. In the things that Pastor Allen has given to us. I want to give you this land. 100 acres. Exemplifying total surrender, Boon Dan set a new standard for those he leads. It's not about what we can get, but what we can give. 
Boondan has begun a project to plant banana and rubber trees on 160 acres of land. Income from this project will be used to train and equip pastors, to plant new churches, to send missionaries into the surrounding Asian nations, and to support homes for orphan children. Boondan and his wife currently live in a tent faithfully leading an army of volunteers in farming the new plantation. He's on the front lines again, pioneering a new work so God can bring prosperity to the churches. In the future, millions of dollars will go through this servant's hands because God has found a man he can trust. Pastor Boondan faces huge challenges and obstacles and most of us wouldn't want to trade places with him. He'll be the first to admit that his flesh despises the battle. Because Boondan keeps his life on the altar, God always brings him the victory. What God has been able to produce through this surrendered life will change the nation of Thailand for God's glory. Pastor Boondan has learned that God does bless his people and our possessions aren't evil. But when stuff becomes more important than obedience to God, it reveals a problem in our heart. Even though Boondan has made the decision once and for all that his life is not his own, he still decides every day to surrender anew. Boondan Wachaipa fell on the rock in his darkest hour, and out of brokenness, God is building a man that he can trust with his purpose. The way that Pastor Boondan inspires me is how Pastor Boondan is always on. He has the love of Jesus, genuine love of Jesus in his heart, and wherever he goes, there's so many people that just want to be involved in his ministry. He just, he, it's like a byproduct. And I met the man first in 2002, and immediately I was taken with the man, just based on his, uh, his heart in the ministry to serve others. I mean, he lives in a tent. You know, he doesn't have any possessions to his name but he's also a man with a vision and he inspires other people and um, gathers other people to move toward that vision as well. When you really grab a hold of a vision, I mean, you really want to do anything to see it come to pass because you believe in it so much and that kind of uh, summarizes Pastor Boondan. He sold out to this ministry and to this vision and to Christ no matter what the cost is. I mean, how many times has he moved from one place to another in order to plant a church? He's disciplined, he's determined, he single-handedly wants to take this nation for Christ and, and in the midst of it, he trains up leaders around him all the time. Really, he's a man of, of great discipline, which uh, it really attracted me to uh, him as a, as a servant of God because of the way that he had structured his life to serve God, which is very rare from a lot of the places we come from in the West where it's more of an easier gospel. He's willing to go to extreme poverty in some cases to see something fulfilled that God has placed on his heart. He's always pushing hard into whatever it is. He doesn't give 99% ever in any situation. He values the kingdom of God above any, any other cause, you know, above any other position, above any other title. And uh, he really understands the eternal purpose of what he's here to do, you know, and he has that perspective. And so he's inspiring because he, he keeps us in perspective of what it is that we're actually doing here on earth, what it's for, what we're living for, what we're supposed to be doing. I think the ways that Pastor Boondan models a surrendered life, as you look at the things he's given up. And at that conference, um, he came up to us and he handed over the last piece of possession that he ever had to give it to us into the ministry. So he actually laid down 30 acres of land um, in, in pastel of feet, right? To be honest, 30 acres is not cheap, you know, it's really expensive, but he's not after money, you know, all he's after is God, you know, so he's willing to lay down all of that. Pastor Bundan models a surrendered life in the fact that he's willing to give up everything, and he has, you know. It's one thing to say I'm willing, it's another thing to actually do it. You never hear him complain, you know, you'll hear him give another testimony and another testimony, but you're not going to hear him complain about the things he's given up, because I don't think he feels like any of that was a sacrifice. I think he just feels like that's his job, you know? Just, just give up, give up what you can and let God move.